Today on Ask the Mead Maker, we have a very special guest host. It's a local mead maker who knows a huge amount about mead history and mead brewing. It's me! It's like when PCP featured himself on his own rap album! Welcome to Ask the Mead Maker, where I, Ricky the Mead Maker, answer your questions about mead making, mead drinking, mead brewing, and really, any question you're willing to send to me. The first question this week comes from Johnny, who said, I've watched every single episode of Ask the Mead Maker, and I don't think you've ever answered the question of what foods pair well with mead. And Johnny, you're wrong. I've answered this innumerable times. But today, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to give you the true answer. The answer for what food my mead is designed to pair with, and you'll understand why I had to wait. The answer is McDonald's breakfast sandwiches. Because up until October 6th, I would have been implying that you should be drinking before 10.30. But now that there's all day McDonald's breakfast throughout America, you can finally realize, without being a lush, the perfect pairing of Minaz and a sausage egg biscuit. Last episode, I answered a question from Karen. I do not, off the top of my head, remember about what. But she said, I have a cousin or brother or something who lives in San Antonio who makes mead. Can I offer any creative ingredient ideas? The answer is, that's kind of what my entire website and this show are about, are offering creative ideas for making mead. But conveniently, if he's more of a visual learner, we have this mead varieties poster that is behind me in every single episode, which you can download for free or order from us online. A lot of people want to know if, as a professional brewer, I still homebrew. And the answer is, I do. I brew beer and I brew cider. In fact, on my one day off a week, I will often choose to hang out with my staff and my interns, have them up to my house, and brew a few batches. The only thing I do not brew is wine. Only reason? I do not have the patience. Johnny wants to know if back sweetening with maltodextrin will impart any unwanted flavors. And Johnny has a misconception of what adding maltodextrin will do, because maltodextrin used for back sweetening will not impart any wanted flavors. Maltodextrin is almost a flavorless sugar in most of its forms. You add maltodextrin to add body. It's used in beers to make them more robust because maltodextrin is a sugar that is not fermentable by yeast. Our last question this week comes from Nate Matz, who wants to know, how long does it take to make a livable wage after you've started a brewery or a meadery? And the answer is, we've been in business for two and a half years. I haven't taken a paycheck at all yet, so at least that long. That's our last question this week. I just need to send it over to Ricky with our word of the week. Ricky? Thank you, Ricky! This week's term is Legendarium. Now, Legendarium isn't strictly speaking a mead term, but it is very important in the life of Grunfell Meadery. The Legendarium is the works, the mythopoetic documents like the Silmarillion and the Unfinished Tales that define the Tolkien universe. They are very important when it comes to answering questions like, what the heck is up with Tom Bombadil? In fact, on November 12th, you can come drink with me and discuss what the heck is up with Tom Bombadil after reading The Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, The Silmarillion, and the rest of the Legendarium. Legendarium. It's our word of the week and the end of our show. Keep sending your questions and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Cheers.